as long as I can remember. I mean, I've started playing football when I was eight years old, I think, and I've kind of wanted to play professionally ever since then. I think success is had here because of our culture and the people we have working here. So I'm just one small part of the machine that keeps this thing rolling. So I just want to be able to inspire and show that, you know, that I can inspire them and show them that it can be done. I face dive in the cake. I was like, man, you know, I'm face diving in this. Like, I got to. Before his mother passed away, Nikkel promised her that he would get his degree, and today he has kept that promise. How's it feel, man? Good. It was a dry to be up here. Uh, Cause I was driving, I drove down from Huntington Beach to so take the scenic ride up here. It was cool though. It was good to be back home. Uh, yeah, just good to be back home overall. It's a big thing. Definitely getting off the plane was like, wow, this is really, really happening. It hasn't even really hit me yet, but I mean, when I first stepped in the locker room, it's, you know, I'm, I'm really here and it's, it's, it's kind of hitting me. So it's an amazing feeling. I can't even remember since like I could talk. I told my dad I was gonna do all this, play ball at OU and go to the NFL. And so the fact that I got to accomplish it is a blessing. As long as I can remember, I mean, I've started playing football when I was eight years old, I think, and I've kind of wanted to play professionally ever since then. You know, I've, I've been living here my entire life, so that's a blessing and, you know, to my advantage, uh, I feel comfortable in this environment, learning and evolving. It's clear that uh, this team goes after guys with high character, um, guys who can, can communicate well, can learn fast. Uh, so I'm excited. I'm extremely proud to be a part of a crew like that. I mean, I've been told that I'm too small. I can't do this. I can't do this. So, like, at least we got to go out and show them that I'm able to do everything that they say I can't do. Played four years at the University of Tennessee and uh, played seven years in the National Football League. Played for the Colts, Jags, Lions, Falcons, Dolphins. I bounced all over the place, but I always kept a job. And I think that I always gravitated towards my player engagement director because he always kept me on board with exactly what it takes to stay in the room. You know, my journey was, it was fun, right? You know, it was fourth round draft pick. Things didn't go how I wanted to in Indianapolis, but you know, I think that's one reason why uh, I'm in the raw I am is because I always found a way to keep a job. And so, you know, that's one thing I want to steal on these guys is that you may not be here, but you can be somewhere. And I think that, um, you know, that's what's unique to hear is these guys are going to get a lot of preseason reps. So I want them to be ready for the opportunity when, it's, when it comes because it's coming. I can't stress enough that if you go ask your counterparts around the league, how many of them had these meetings open up with their head coach and general manager at the foot, setting the standard for the culture that we're trying to create here. So what makes my job great is we have a culture of care and collaboration. And it's authentic, as you can see. Oh man, the most challenging thing these guys are gonna deal with is the daily rhythm. I think in college, your day is scripted from morning to, to sunlight, right? So I think that when these guys go through the day and they've got free time, how do they deal with that free time? What's your daily rhythm? On a Tuesday and off day, what's that look like? You used to be in class practice, uh, study hall, you know, from, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., your whole day was scripted. So now that you have that free time and you have a little money, what's that look like? Well, you got to figure out what your rhythm is because it's different for everybody else. I don't think that success is had here because of me. I think success is had here because of our culture and the people we have working here. So I'm just one small part of the machine that keeps this thing rolling. On the flip note, this Saturday, we are having the United Way home walk. So what I did was figure out a way to get y'all some free breakfast, free lunch, Hey, I can't get no cheer. All right, come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, so we're going to leave the hotel at 730. I'll have breakfast on the bus, and on the way back, uh, we'll grab lunch. What a special day today to, to be out here, and, and when you realize that there's a lot of things that go on that are a lot bigger than football. This is our 12th annual home walk, and this is a walk where everyone comes out to march to end homelessness. Uh, this is our first year doing it with the Rams, and the Rams just really allowed us to elevate the platform of this important issue. We've raised over a million dollars, which will all go to housing and services to bring people in off the streets. The Rams always use the platform the right way to help the community, and when you got 53,000 people that are homeless in this city, it's about helping people out and helping them change their situation. And we got a great reflection of our team here today with guys like Andrew Whitworth, Johnny Hecker, Aaron Donald. 
we're on the platform that we get the opportunity, you know, to do things off the field and to be here right now and, and interact with fans and people, it's a, it's a good feeling. So. I actually went to this, um, like, I think it was my junior year at Loyola. It was a much smaller event, but, you know, since the Rams are involved, it's a lot bigger now, so it's always great to see something like this grow, especially for the calls. How, how we are as an organization, you know, uh, run from the top, you know, Coach McVay, you know, a bunch of players were out here, all the rookies were out here, so, you know, that just goes to say, you know, who we are as an organization. So, I mean, I, I think I started playing football when I was about flag football, maybe seven, seven, eight years old. I think, you know, just the first time that I was out in the football field playing flag football, when I stepped out in the football field for the first time, I just, you know, immediately fell in love with it and knew that I was, you know, almost, you know, I was meant to play this game. Like, you know, I was put on this earth to play this game. Day in the life as a rookie is, you know, it's it's not it's not all a glory flash like that stuff. You know, something that I can compare it to is like almost like fall camp when in in college. You know, it's just early mornings starting at you know 5:30, 6 a.m. and we're here all day until four o'clock, five o'clock doing meetings, walkthroughs, um, position work, workouts, lifting, conditioning. So, I mean, it's 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 an entire day. So it's some I, I would compare it to like fall camp in college. Hello? Taylor. Yes, sir. This is Les Sneed, General Manager, Los Angeles Rams. Mr. Sneed, how's it going? I am good. Let me ask you this. You ever dreamed about playing in the NFL? Yes, sir. With the 61st pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Rams select Taylor Rapp, DB. Is gone. He's picked again by Second interception on as many drives to open the second. He's going to get buried by Taylor Rapp. He came on a safety blitz right up the middle. When I did get that call, you know, it was, I, I can't even really describe it. I don't think anyone really can describe it. I was up in my parents' house um, where, I was, where I was raised, Bellingham, Washington, about an hour and a half north of Seattle. So that, that feeling when you get that call and, you know, someone's picking you in the draft is... You're, it's because you know all your hard work and all your effort, all your work that you put in your whole life, you know, it's it finally come, it's finally coming true. So you know that moment is just, it's indescribable. Go get up. Go, go work, go work, go work through. Not a lot of like Asian Americans, you know, especially Chinese Chinese athletes in, in major sports, let alone football, Asian American athletes. So, you know, growing up, I, I never really had like a, a role model or like someone to look up to in football or sports. So, I mean, you know, I just want to be able to, you know, try to break that stereotype as much as possible and, you know, let, let people know that no matter what you look like, you know, you can play football if you if you have a dream and you put put enough work in that you know anything is possible and so I just want to be able to inspire and show that you know that I can inspire them and show them that it can be done. For the past I don't know four months or something like that it's just been training you know training for the combine training for pro day and then that that long wait for the draft and then another two weeks after the draft until I actually get out to a team and do like football specific and back to X's and O's and stuff like that and back in the classroom, back to studying defenses, learning defenses. So it's refreshing to get to get back into the, the groove of things, you know, it's it's refreshing to get back to it. I think I'm more excited than anything just to you know, get integrated with the team, start gelling with the guys, all the veterans, and starting to get to know everyone on the team just because, you know, it's, I'm a rookie, everyone, you know, we, we get thrown into the fire, and, you know, heads are all over the place, you know, so I'm just looking forward to, like, progressing um, in the defensive playbook, learning the system, you know, learning the culture around here, and then just gelling with the guys out here and just getting to know everyone and taking, you know, all, all their coaching points and soaking in everything. You know, at first I thought it was somebody's birthday. <laughs> Cause I seen balloons, 
and all that. I was like, oh, it's somebody's birthday today. So I'm looking around like, who birthday it is today? You know, whatever like that. And then, you know, uh, Coach McVay was like, we're always happy when somebody have, you know, great things going on and all that good stuff. But what's even more special about really what's coming up is amongst our own, man. You talk about supporting each other, being happy for guys, achieving big time things in life. And then he said my name. I was like, oh, me? Coaches aren't doing that right now. NFL coaches, they're not really worried about probably if you go to school or not. They, they'll, they'll congratulate you, I'm pretty sure, but it won't be to the extent that McVay did. You know, McVay uh, actually, you know, show love. That's big stuff. It's, it's huge. It's bigger than big. It's just, that's life. I face dived in the cake. I was like, man, you know, I'm face diving in this. Like, I got to. Like, this is this is a this is a, a moment that I just can't let pass. It was just a, uh, it was a cool feeling, you know. Coach McVay showed me love on that, and the Rams organization uh, showed me love on that. So it was, it, it, that meant a lot to me, you know. That was special. Yeah, man, about to graduate, real estate degree. It's been a long journey, but I got it done. Uh, I left early, in, I left early in college, and just trying to come back and get my degree and accomplish something. Uh, that's great, and it's great, to be a it's great to be a Trojan. Today is a great day to be a Trojan. Graduation coming up, uh, May the 10th, 11 a.m. I'm happy. It's, it's just, it's just a, a real great feeling. Thank you. Basically, I made a promise to my mom I was going to go back and get my degree. You know, my mom was real big on education. That was her focal point growing up in her household. At USC, it's like a big fraternity. We all Trojans, we all put in the same sweat and tears. It was like a mutual happiness that we had for each other. Hey, hey look, 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 look at that, bro. You see this? Look at that, bro, look at that. And he's supposed, and he's supposed to be a USC graduate. We're supposed to be Trojan brothers. Hey, we're Trojans and, first. And, and, and look what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, can we sign a photo? Yeah, man, let's snap it up, let's snap it up, let's snap it up. Public policy and development in the real estate, in the real estate track, real estate it. development. That's what I plan on doing after my career. Um, class 2019 and on the side, I got, I put my, I put where I'm getting my, uh, my, my degree and my major. And um, I got my mom name in uh, remembrance of her with the wings, the angel wings. It means a lot. Uh, I know my mom be happy right now. You know, uh, I know she can't be here because, um, you know, she's in heaven watching down on me. So um, to, for this for this to be happening right now, it's just, um, it's an incredible feeling. I thought the day would never come, but it actually came. So um, it feels good, you know, it feels good. It's, it's, a, uh, it's like a relief off my shoulders. <laughs> good? Yeah, let's go. Nice to see you, you looking good, man. Yeah. You looking real good. Yeah. Are you, you, you gonna sit with us? We all can sit together? Yeah. All right, come on, cool. When I surround myself around my peers yeah. at USC, uh, it really reminds me of like, wow, Nikhil, this is, this is really what you came here for. To the faculty and staff, proud parents, relatives, and friends, I proudly present to you the Seoul Price School of Public Policy class of 2019. Trying to go to school and do the right things, it's tough. Sometimes we need somebody to tap us on the back and be like, we love you, keep fighting, your mama will be proud of you. Now, have you ever wondered if it would be possible for someone to play in the Super Bowl and at the same time earn their degree from the Price School? Well, incredibly, Nikel Roby Coleman has proven it is possible. That's what my family was really there for. You know, when they seen things would get a bit overwhelming, that's when they'll be like, you know, hey, we love you, we here, you ain't alone. Nikel played football for USC and now plays for the Los Angeles Rams. I told you all, man, today was a special day. Before his mother passed away, Nikel promised her that he would get his degree and today he has kept that promise. Thank you so much. Yeah. Congratulations, Nikel. I want to thank all my friends. I want to thank all my family. I want to thank my mom. We're number one, baby. Uh, for just staying with me, staying, um, keeping me encouraged, always um, making sure that you know 
I'm staying positive and making sure my head is clear and uh, making sure I'm always taking the, uh, the best step forward, allowing me to give me the strength to even finish and to even make it through and persevere through all the hard times. This is this one for the books, this one for life, this one for life. Like, this is for life right here. Get that degree, can't take this from me.